You know what they say, growing up isn't easy. Children and teens face a lot of different emotions, and we are here with Dr. Kyle Ahonen from Pine Rest Christian Mental Health Services. And so, how do you really spot emotions like anxiety and depression in children and teens? So it's a great question. Anxiety and depression are really common in children and teens. It does present a little differently depending on how old your kid is. In younger kids, for anxiety, a lot of times they present with a lot of frequent stomach aches, maybe headaches, even crying spells, some parents will describe like tantrums and defiance, yeah. irritability, falling asleep, trouble falling asleep at night. With older kids, they're more able to tell you about some of their worries and fears because their verbal skills are developed. Um, maybe specific phobias, maybe generalized. They might have school avoidance, um, trouble falling asleep, edginess, irritability. And for depression, a lot of the symptoms overlap with anxiety. But commonly, kids will have like a low mood. Actually, a big difference between adults with depression and kids with depression is kids a lot of times just have an irritable mood instead of just sadness. Um, but I, look, I tell parents to look for any significant change in their child's behavior, anything different from their normal. If you got like an active kid who's suddenly not active anymore, a social kid who's not social anymore, um, experimenting with drugs, maybe engaging in self-harm, we're talking about not wanting to be around, these are all concerning kind of signs and symptoms. And how do you best talk with a child or teen about this? So I always tell parents to ask directly about any concerning behavior changes, anxiety and depression. There is still a stigma about mental health and so it can be hard for, bring up, for kids to bring up. And so if you never ask about it, you might not ever find out about it. 